Real Men Wear Pink of Wisconsin held their sixth annual softball tournament for breast cancer awareness at Menominee Park in Oshkosh. The tournament brings in around $10,000 in donations every year to selected victims of breast cancer in need of financial help. Uh, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer her second time uh, when she was 58 years old and um, she started to have injections and things that were required with the chemo and they were telling us how expensive these injections were. Just one single injection was $9,000 and she had to have at least two a month. So with that kind of factored in, my husband was playing softball with a bunch of friends for many years. He's like, we need to do something, so let's do a softball tournament. So that year we started the softball tournament for her. It was a huge success, so we said, we have to do this for other women. Uh, we wanted to continue the tradition, and we went on from there. It's, uh, it's unbelievable how much the community and people that you know and even you don't know get involved and help support our cause, our breast cancer awareness, and raising money for an individual or individuals at that fact. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very rewarding to see this after all of our hard work that we put into the off season, I guess you can call it. But it's, uh, it's very rewarding that at this point right here. And then once we distribute that check, it's, it's very humbling for us to give something to somebody who's financially burdened with uh, what they're going through. This year's softball tournament featured 17 teams made up of supporting businesses and community members personally affected by breast cancer. This is the first year Real Men Wear Pink has had more than one recipient for the tournament's donations. I was diagnosed on July 1st of last year. Um, I had a very quick, it's, what was it, stage two invasive ductal carcinoma. Um, it spread very, very fast, so I went through 20 weeks of chemotherapy, had bilateral mastectomies with reconstruction, and then I believe it was 36 weeks, or no, not 36 weeks, six and a half weeks of radiation. And then now I'm just under construction, waiting to Come on, <laughs> have my on, final surgery. Uh, this event means a lot to me um, and my family to help us out with some of our medical costs. I was diagnosed October 1st of last year. Um, I too had um, ductal carcinoma, stage one. Um, and it all happened pretty quick. I had a double mastectomy as well. Um, chemotherapy and radiation just got done in June, the so last month. And we just are having a good time out here. We're happy that everyone came out, and um, it means a lot. We um, need the support and great cause, and we're happy to have these guys. The tournament's main donations don't come from the team registration at all, but rather concessions. Besides first, second, and third place trophies, Teams also have the chance to win first place in meat eating and first place in beverage drinking. There was also a convertible being raffled off. Real Men Wear Pink likes to keep things fun during its tournaments. Every year has a theme. This year's theme was superheroes. Uh, well, uh, last year Amy, my cousin, was the recipient and uh, she had been struggling with breast cancer for a long time. And as soon as they picked her, I made the decision that I was going to put a team in the tournament and we are going to do the best that we could. This year uh, we were playing in her honor. She lost her fight to breast cancer. Uh, Amy's Avengers named our team after her. Uh, it, it, it means a lot. Um, she, she's my inspiration uh, in a lot of ways. You know, no matter how hard the fight was, she kept doing the things that she loved to do and didn't let it stop her. And uh, she helped a lot of people along the way. And uh, it, you know, if more people were like that, the world would be a better place. And I, I hope that we did her proud this weekend. That's, that's the main thing. I'd just like to say thank you to our volunteers and all of our teams, our sponsors, um, all the businesses that uh, do come out and help out raise this money and everything like that. Without them, you know, we're just they're they are our backbone. The community is our backbone. Um, the players, the teams are our backbone, and our volunteers, especially without them. This wouldn't happen. For Oshkosh Northwestern Media, I'm Leo Costello.